It's the year 2006. You've just gotten home from school, throwing yourself on the living room couch. You're tired, fat, and all there is to do is miss Madison's homework. But she's a bit of a bitch and you don't feel like it. The TV's on and something catches your eye. Japanese rock music? Angsty looking high schooler? A fucking duck thing? Is this a fever dream or is it one of those Japanese cartoons father's always warning you about? You may have guessed already, but this story is about 11 year old me discovering Zatch Bell for the first time. And what a time it was. I remember thinking to my 11 year old self, is this show weird as fuck right now or is it actually pretty cool? And thankfully, it was both. This video series is about whether the 2006 anime Zatch Bell stands the test of time in 2022 or has it become an unwatchable piece of dog shit. Anime Opening Starting off with the anime opening, and as we all know, all good anime openings must have an upbeat rock song. Now let's have a look at Zatch Bell's opening. Upbeat rock song, check. Anime openings also must have a shot of random characters dancing. Check. Also a montage of characters showing off their abilities. Also check. A cheesy shot of an anime girl being super kawaii. Check. Sitting on a grassy hill. Check. Fast zoom in with the character's hair blowing in the wind. Check. Main characters and or rivals back to back shot. Check. With all these checks I'd have to say that the anime opening has most definitely held up. Another way we can decipher if an anime is dated is from the art style and animation. Classic anime of the 80s and 90s have animation that rival the most popular high budget shows of today. However, art style is constantly changing and evolving. Zatch Bell is a bit different as they have weird as shit characters that fit in any century. So there is a lot of room for wacky anime characters that can fit in any time period. Still, we can see with the human characters in Zatch Bell that the designs show their age, specifically with the mother. With one look, you realize her role in the show will consist of mainly cooking and cleaning, and maybe a scene or two of her consoling the main character after having to make a difficult choice. But Zatch Bell does have a mix of interesting female character designs. One in particular looks like she's a regular from Downtown Abbey and another female character looking like this fucking thing. In conclusion, the animation holds up especially well for a long running series, but things like clothing design, old computers and general lack of a smartphone by high schoolers highlights the fact that this is an anime of the early 2000s. Not a bad thing, but maybe confusing for some Gen Zers out there thinking, why the fuck would you write a letter and not just Microsoft chat and email or whatever the kids use these days. Anyways, let's move on. Political correctness. A term that is seen as divisive amongst many, especially when talking about a creative medium such as anime. Many ideas age poorly, as they are now viewed to be politically incorrect in today's time. Let's have a look at Zatch Bell, and if it would be affected by the ever-evolving standards of political correctness. Episode 1 the director of the episode made an interesting choice of a nice close-up shot of Zatch's dick and balls, despite him being a six-year-old child book demon thing. Does it make for some solid comedy? Objectively, yes. Is it something that would air in the year 2022 without an angry mob waiting outside the mangaka's home? I am not too sure, but I'd pray for him. The next thing we see in this scene is that of Kiyo, our teenage protagonist, about to dogshot a six-year-old child. I am almost certain that Kia would have been cancelled immediately by Twitter. An overgrown man-child beating up a literal child. And then cut to this dude wondering what the colour of this crying girl's panties are. I feel like I'm breaking a law just watching this anime. But I do need to see Zatch kick some ass. Cancelled. Zatch cancelled. Cancelled. And you're cancelled. The fuck is this? This dude's plan was to pop down from the sky, kickflip, blow wind, and just kidnap a high schooler in broad daylight. I'm pretty sure that's against the law. Cancelled. In the end, Zatch and Kiyomaru save the day, and Zatch declares Kiyomaru an ally of justice, which pretty much means social justice warrior, therefore negating everything that just happened. So now this anime is in the clear. This brings us to our main question. Does Zatch Bell hold up in 2022? I have to say that the opening is weird as shit and makes you question your mental state. The designs of these characters reinforce this also, and the jokes are inappropriate, but pretty damn funny. Because of its wacky story and characters, it is impossible to forget this anime. It may not be the greatest shown in anime or even in your top 100, but it most definitely stands the test of time. Zatch Bell has heart, honesty, and hilarity. But most importantly, Zatch Bell is an ally of justice. Like the video and subscribe to the Call Me Mick channel.